Your employer, in collaboration with MCA Consulting, is providing this educational video on respiratory protection in healthcare settings. In certain situations, healthcare workers need additional protection from airborne contaminants and infectious disease in their workplace. When used properly, respirators are a type of personal protective equipment that can protect you from breathing in these hazards. Why is a respirator necessary? Although rare, a respirator may be necessary to protect you from airborne infectious agents that occur in your workplace. Exposures primarily occur during direct patient care of individuals who have an airborne transmissible disease. This might include active TB, SARS, pandemic flu, chickenpox, measles, or others. Using your respirator properly is critical to ensuring it provides effective protection for you. Under OSHA's Respiratory Protection Standard 29 CFR 1910.134, employers requiring the use of respirators must meet a certain set of requirements. Your employer has or will develop a written program, select the correct respirator for the hazard, evaluate respirator use and correct issues, conduct medical evaluations, provide for maintenance, storage, and care of respirators, provide access to related records. In accordance with CDC and CMS requirements, your facility has selected particulate filtering face piece respirators, commonly known as N95s, to protect against airborne infectious disease. N95 respirators filter infectious particulates out of the air before they reach you. These masks do not protect against gaseous chemicals. An improper fit or use can limit the mask's effectiveness. N95s are typically disposable devices in healthcare settings. Before your employer requires you to use a respirator, you will complete a medical questionnaire that will be reviewed by a physician or licensed healthcare professional to determine if you are medically fit to wear a respirator. The licensed healthcare provider will review this form and determine whether you are cleared to be fit tested and wear a respirator, including limitations you may have. Additional follow-up evaluations may be required. After being medically cleared to wear a respirator, you must be fit tested with the same make, model, style, and size respirator that you will use on your job. A fit test confirms that the respirator fits your unique facial features and maintains a tight seal for protection. Without a proper seal, your respirator may not function properly. You must be refit tested at least annually or if there is a change in respirator models. Never use a different model respirator than the one you are fit tested to use. Notify your supervisor if your model is not available or in short supply. Once you are medically cleared and fit tested, you are almost ready to wear a respirator. But first, we need to cover some important notes about using a respirator properly. Only use a NIOSH certified respirator for protection against air contaminants. Surgical masks and KN95s are not respirators. Facial hair that comes between the sealing surface of the face piece is not permitted. Glasses or PPE must be worn in a manner that does not interfere with the seal. Be sure you always inspect the respirator for basic function prior to each use. Always check the filter, straps, and condition of your respirator. If it's soiled or damaged, dispose it and obtain a new one from your supervisor. Never draw on, poke holes, staple, or otherwise alter your respirator as it may prevent the device from functioning properly. If you suspect leakage or your respirator malfunctions while you're in a protection designated area, promptly remove yourself from the area and obtain a new respirator. It's important to recognize and notify your supervisor of any medical signs and symptoms, such as shortness of breath or dizziness. These symptoms may limit or prevent effective use of respirators. Here's how to put on a respirator. Without touching the inside of the respirator, hold the respirator under your chin with the nose piece up. Pull the top strap to the top back of your head and the bottom strap around the neck below the ears. Do not crisscross the straps. Finally, place your fingertips from both hands on the top of the nose piece pushing down on both sides to mold the nose piece to the shape of your nose. 
Every time you put on a respirator, you must perform a user seal check. Place both hands over the respirator. Take a quick breath in to check whether the respirator seals tightly to your face. Place both hands over the respirator and exhale. If you feel leakage, there is not a proper seal. If air leaks out around the nose, readjust the nose piece as described. If air leaks at the mask edges, readjust the straps until a proper seal is achieved. If you cannot achieve a proper seal due to air leakage, ask for assistance. To remove and dispose of your respirator, avoid touching the front of your respirator. Remove by pulling the bottom strap over the back of the head, followed by the top strap, without touching the face piece. Discard in a waste container and wash your hands. If your employer is not requiring the use of a respirator, but you still prefer to wear an N95 for your own comfort, you may do so under the company voluntary use policy. Notify your supervisor, because you will need to review and agree to the limitations of N95s that have already been discussed in this training. If at any time you have questions about the respiratory protection program, ask your supervisor, program administrator, or infection preventionist. Thanks for watching.